So these two main body processes depend on proprioception. Being aware of the relative position of the parts of the body while at rest, we'll call this static awareness, and being aware of the relative position of the parts of the body while in motion. So it encompasses not only our sense of balance, but coordinated motion as well. From the simple wave of a hand, to the more contemplated integration of movement and balance you need for walking, or for very complex movements like in an Olympic gymnast. So these two processes are intimately in, uh, integrated in humans, proprioception. But what's interesting is they're also integrated in plants. And it's been the focus of botanical research for many, many years. How does a plant know up from down? One of the first um, descriptions of plants knowing up from down was already in the 18th century by a French naval inspector who was also a botanist. His name was Henri Louis Dumel de Monceau. I hope my French uh, is okay, my pronunciation. And what he reported that if he takes a seedling and put it on its side, the shoot would always grow up and the root would always grow down. And he hypothesized here that this was because that the plant was sensing gravity. But is this the only possibility? Is this the only hypothesis that the plant is knowing where gravity is? And could you think of any other possibilities? Isn't it possible that the plants know where up from down is because of where the light and the dark is? Can you think of an experiment that would test whether up and down is due to light? Or can you think of an experiment that would test the hypothesis that plants are responding only to gravity here and not to changes in the light conditions. One of the first people to test the hypothesis that plants respond to gravity and to test this experimentally was an English gentleman in the 19th century named Thomas Andrew Knight. He wasn't a trained scientist, but as part of the landed gentry, he could use his, um, his free time for scientific pursuits. And he had read Duhamel's hypothesis and also realized that it hadn't really been checked from a, a scientific point of view. So he wanted to check the hypothesis that plants are responding to gravity. And the way he did this was as follows. Now, in his estate in England, there was a stream flowing through the estate. And in the stream, he had a water wheel. What he did is he attached plants or seedlings to the water wheel. Now, before he started to the experiment, all of the roots were growing down and all of the shoots were growing up. But when he attached them to the water wheel, they were spun for several days. Now, this spinning applied a centrifugal force, similar to a gravitational force, with a force going outwards. When he stopped the water wheel, he observed that all of the roots were growing outwards in the direction of the centrifugal force and all of the shoots were growing in, away from the centrifugal force. From this, he concluded that plants actually do respond to gravity. We call this response to gravity gravitropism, where roots respond positively to gravitropism, meaning that they grow down towards the gravity vector, whereas the green parts of the plant, the shoots, respond negatively to gravitropism, growing away from the gravity vector. 